Hey everybody, so this has been multiple days of things coming in, been too tired to even do anything, plus it makes more sense just to get it all in one, because this has been lures and other stuff that I kind of wanted to get, to try out, basically. Okay, let's try open the first one, I forget what is what, because I've been just getting it and putting it off to the side. Look at what this is. Ooh. That's something I wanted. Okay, that's that of this. So this, this is going to be some sort of translucent paint. Really want to try this since I do a lot of early morning time fishing. This is a Daiwa Double Clutch. Wanted to try this because I saw it on YouTube. The guys in Australia catch kind of playing fish with that. Okay. Looks like I gotta sharpen my knife. I'm just dripping instead of. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Lucky craft. Lucky craft. Lucky craft. So why did I get this? I think I got, got this for a decent price, like $12 or something. This is going to be very similar to the one that um, glows in the dark. So I actually want to use a paint, put the translucent paint or the glow in the dark paint on it. Let's get into that later. Gotta make sure I sharpen my knife later. Okay, lucky crap. Oh, this is the double clutch again. Look at that bill on that thing. It's huge, yeah. I really want to try to throw that and see if catch anything. And it's so much smaller than the, most of the lures I use. So I'm, that's what I mean. I have to use a smaller rod though. And that's gonna be chunky for me. <laughs> and this is the other. Oh, they both costed about the same, and big, big difference in the size of them. I don't know which one is which. Let's do it. So, my flashlight from Olight. So this must be the blue, you can see it glowing blue, glows in the dark blue. And green. That's the reason why I brought the flashlight out. So my idea is, I'm not too sure if I want to use it on any of my Lucky Craft because they were kind of affordable but it's not it's not the way I see it now. A lot of them I cannot find under $13 per lure. And each time I lose a lure, I'm thinking in my head $13 down the drain, $14. Now I'm finding them like $18, $19, which really sucks. That's almost $20 just for one lure. And I tend to lose lures quite often. <clears throat> A lot of times you use an error, which is me, throwing too shallow, hit the reef, I ain't going to walk across the channel, I ain't going to swim across the channel to get onto the other side of the reef and try undo the lure. I'm going to just yank and hopefully it comes back, which 90% of the times, I the line cuts instead. So anyway... <clears throat> Wanna try <clears throat> painting it with these fluorescent or these paints that activate with UV light. <clears throat> and these ones I wanna throw. Which I gotta downsize my rod. 
I'll probably have to throw my casting sharky rods. Because I don't think my pen... My pen... What is it? Carnage, the 9 foot medium light. I think that... I think it might be able to throw this, but... Might be better off throwing it with the sharky. In my case. But... Yeah, so... Just wanted to... I'll, I'll let you guys know how this paint works. I think I'm going to use the paint on Yozuri lures since I got so much of Yozuri lures and I haven't been using it so often because I have very little bit amount that glows in the dark, if any. So I might want to paint some that's not glow in the dark and paint it and so I can have extra different type of lures to throw as I during the night or during the morning. That would sound good because I actually like how the Yozuri swims. It has a good wobble. It wobbles like that and it turns to the side. So it's almost like that. So it flashes the sides and it's still going side to side. So same does a Lucky Craft but the Yozuri, I, I used to love using them but <clears throat> right now with this virus going around I still cannot go fishing during the midday and walk in the reefs and this or that gotta take care of my son or something it, it, yeah I don't have the kind of time I used to have so I'm very limited on what I can throw and when I can go okay well I think that's about it for this and I actually love the Lucky Crafts that, that's that been my go-to lures the Surf Pointer SW or something like that that's the ones I tend to throw quite a, quite a bit recently because as a weight has good weight inside well it's light but has a transferable weight yeah, let's see this. Sir Pointer. Is that <clears throat> sliding weight? So, gotta make sure the weight is at the bottom when you throw it. So, it goes out straight rather than a helicopter and all around. Okay, well, I really wanna try this. This looks so nice. So small, so this, so that, and hopefully catches me some fish. Thank you, and have a good day.